YouTube. What's going on? Woody P coming back with another one. Let's get it. You know, I got to keep the fire coming. Let's keep it rolling today. I'm going to talk about why women will share certain men. Yeah, that 80 20 rule is real. And a lot of men don't want to grasp this concept or just come to the realization of this. But women will share certain men. And I'm going to break down some key examples because the 80 20 rule is real. And a lot of men just fail to grasp this concept. So I'm gonna break it down today while women will share certain men. So I'm gonna give some real good feedback as far as how I'm gonna break this down. So stick with me, lock in. Before I start the video, please watch the entire video. And if you like, subscribe to the channel to receive more content like this, just content about life and various topics. Let's get it. Yeah, women will share certain men. And I'm gonna give you a great example this is going to be on a smaller scale, but it's going to bring light to the situation. Okay. Women will share certain men. Let's understand that. For example, small neighborhood, right? Let's just say you're in a small neighborhood. There's five women. There's five guys. Small neighborhood. I'm breaking this down. This is an example. Five women, five guys. Four of those guys don't drive, don't have a car, don't have a job, don't really have anything going for themselves. Four of those guys out of the five. But one of those guys out of the five, 20%. Think about it. One out of five, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 20%, one out of the five. This is where the 80-20 rule come into play. The one guy out of the five, he'll have a car. He'll have a good job, have some money in his pocket. Remember what I said? Neighborhood, 10 people, small neighborhood. Five women, five guys. Out of those five guys, only one of them have their job, have money, have a car. If those five women know that, that he's the only one out of those guys that has his shit together, that, you know, has a car, has a job, has money, things like that. They will all share that one man. Whatever, whatever comes with it, they will share that man because he has the higher value out of the five. He has the highest value just because he has a car, you know, he has money, has a job. They will all, all the women, all five women in that small neighborhood will gravitate towards that one guy. And he'll be having sexual relations with all five of those women just because he has the highest status out of that group. Now, let's just take it to the real world. Let's just take it to the real world. I don't know if you guys know the statistics out here, but not a lot of people make six figures. Not a lot of people are entrepreneurs. It's just not common. You know, entrepreneur, you gotta take a leap of faith. You gotta, you know, be brave. You gotta be confident. So there's not a lot of entrepreneurs out here. A lot of people are just happy with knowing they get a check every single week. So small percentage of entrepreneurs out here. And it's a small percentage of just people in general that make six figures. So let's just take it to the real world. You have men out here make 30,000, let's just say 30,000 to 50,000, right? Two out of, let's just say 10 men make six figures. That's 20%. The women are gonna, this is where the 80 20 rule comes into play. The women flock to the guys that has the highest value. That's just call it what you want. Call it uh, hypergamy, whatever you want to call it. But it's females' natural instinct to gravitate towards the guy they feel has the highest value, who, you know, more secure, things like that. It's just in their nature. So you can't blame them. So 
there's a select few of guys that make six figures. These are the men with all the women because you have a lot of men out here, believe it or not, that are virgins. They pushing 30 years old and they still virgins. So the guys, six figures and up, they have majority of the women, whether men want to acknowledge that or come to that realization, it is what it is. So when you're not getting attention from certain women or women not looking your way, they don't see you as having value. That's what it comes down to now. Like you just gotta have value, you gotta have status, you gotta have something to where they feel like I'm winning with him. They have to feel like I'm winning with him. They don't feel like that. Be slow motion for you. And I've been in situations where two of the guys were friends and I was having sexual relations with both of them and they knew it. But my status at the time allowed me to get away with it. See, it depends on your status. Do you control your environment? Like this could be at work too. Let's just use work for example. If you're the guy at work that that's known to get the biggest paycheck or whatever, or you know, the highest salary, the bosses like you, things like that, the women are naturally gonna flock to you because in in their eyes, you look like the guy. You look like the man. Even though you might not be the boss, you look like the boss, you know, of the employees out of the employees, you know what I'm saying? So people just gravitate towards whoever, you know, look like they have superior status. So not just look or actually have superior status, I should say. So let me know what you think the 80-20 rule is real. A lot of men don't wanna, you know, come to this realization or just in denial, but it's real. So step your game up and don't feel sorry for yourself. Let me know what you think. Knock another one out. I had to cover this topic because a lot of men don't understand this and women don't mind sharing men. So men can't come to that realization. But when you've encountered it and you've been in, in that action, you know they don't mind sharing certain men. So let me know what you think. Drop some down in the comments. I ain't going to stop knocking another one out. Bow, bow, bow. Let's get it.